In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Andre Bisset. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For Christ Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord our God, friend of the lowly, who gave your servant, St. Andre Bassett, a great devotion to St. Joseph and a special commitment to the poor and afflicted, help us through his intercession to follow his example of prayer and love and so come to share with him in your glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that Father sent his Son as Savior of the world Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. If this is love brought to perfection among us, that we have confidence on the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. And so one who fears is not yet perfect in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted one with judgment. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth will, will adore, adore you. you. The kings of Tarshish and Isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Sheba shall bring tribute. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth will adore you. Adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth will adore you. May Almighty God be in your heart and on your lips and proclaim the Holy Gospel worthy and well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. After 5,000 had eaten and were satisfied, 
Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and proceed him to the other side toward Bethsaida. While he dismissed the crowd, and when he had taken leave of them, he went off to the mountain to pray. It was evening, and the boat was far out on the sea, and he was alone on the shore. Then he saw that they were tossed about while rowing, for the wind was against them. About the fourth watch of the night, he came towards them walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them, but when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. They had all seen him and were terrified. But once he spoke to them, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. He got into the boat with them and the wind died down. They were completely astounded. They had not understood the incident of the loaves. On the contrary, their hearts were hardened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In many ways, our first reading today from the letter of St. John is the fruit of well, maybe even completely, the fruit of the gospel today. Jesus is walking on the water, and he literally almost walks by the disciples. I don't know that I have a good explanation for that, but I think it's very interesting. As the disciples cry out, When they recognize Jesus, he gets into the boat. The waters are calmed, and they are completely astounded. I think we can all understand that. But there's this interesting end that said they had not understood the incident of the loaves. On the contrary, their hearts were hardened. Pondered on that, hardened to what? And back to John's gospel, I would say the love of God. Who Jesus is and how deeply God loves each and every one of us. How we will be fed there is no reason to fear. Like a parent who has a child that uh, is going in a direction other than we might hope for. We know that if we pour out that love, even if we don't see it, when it is that love we've received from God that we've seen and we know, it feeds and it will feed our children and they may well be where you are right now, 20 years from now, that's the result of love. It's easy to be scared, particularly when we are faced with our own mortality. I mean, the pandemic has certainly brought that alive in me. I don't want to get sick. But the reality is, is if we knew how deeply God really loved us and what that meant for our lives to be with God in heaven, it's greater than anything we can experience here. 
to the extent that we can take that in and internalize it and pass it on. That's the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, John speaking of. There's an eternal life about love. Jesus is the example of God's love, literally gives his life for another. And that's what we're called to do. It's not so much about us. It's not so much about me. It's about what goes beyond. Since where we are today is temporal, as we look towards eternity, even in a temporal way, with that example of our children, when we pour that love out, it has an effect. Trust it. Give thanks to God for it. Let us now gather the needs of this day and present them to God the Most High. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and those who serve the church, and for all people who preach and practice the gospel of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our political leaders, that they may be blessed with integrity and humility as they serve the people they represent, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer in mind, body, or soul, that they may know the love of Jesus through the tender care of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, that the Lord may magnify the treasures we bring to Jesus, who gives us all that is good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Michelle McCartney, McCartney, for whose mass is offered, this mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, that they will be welcomed into the fullness of eternal joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, bring the needs of this day, those spoken, those in our hearts, those that are known. We ask that you grant them all through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Most merciful God, who are pleased to create and blessed Andre Bisset, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather up people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, a Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body and spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance through your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with her blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Andre Bassett, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. Your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of blessed Saint Andre Basset and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Uh, late yesterday afternoon, uh, Father Naguse uh, texted me that he got his test results back and he's negative. Finally negative, thanks be to God. He's over COVID. Uh, finally, what a very long month for that poor man. Uh, and thank, he's very grateful for all the prayers. So he is cleared now to return to uh, full-time active ministry. And he will be back with us uh, coming this Saturday morning for the 8 a.m. Mass. So again, just a, a great joy. And thanks be to God for his good health and return to ministry with us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.